Welcome back, and now we're going to do some live demo of creating and some consuming of REST services in our Oracle Autonomous Database Cloud Service. So I talked about the different uh, interfaces you have for working with REST services. I'll show a couple of them today, but I'm going to start with SQL Developer here on my desktop. So I'm using the latest and greatest. I'm connected to Autonomous. I've got my wallet here. I've got my user that I've created and REST enabled to log in. I can right click on a table and say enable REST service. That gives us that automatic REST endpoint for the table or all the endpoints for the table. So in this case I've got my Strava table. I'm going to require security privs if someone wants to get the open data, swagger, JSON doc. I've chosen not to alias it. And if I look at this table, it's pretty basic. It's just some, it's like a social media. Um, data set where people can go and share their exercise and workout activity. So I've got 380 rows. This is up in the cloud. And with that endpoint enabled, say Strava slash, slash says give me all the rows. So here we go. Uh, the same records I saw browsing that table in SQL Developer. So if I want to get just a collection of records, I can see I've got this type here. It says run. So I was showing you earlier the query predicate syntax. I can say Q equals, and then you do this in JSON. So the first thing you say is the um, the, the predicate condition. So I'm going to say equality, and then I'm going to set that to another JSON string. So I'm going to say type is equal to run, and then close that off and run that again. So here are just the activities of type run. So I'm not going to show insert, update, delete on this because I want to keep this short and sweet. But if I had a, a REST client, I could totally do up a put, a post, or a delete and um, send up the appropriate um, body. Under the REST services, uh, I've got a module defined called health. So let's look at this very quickly. Um, the module name has a URI prefix, so any service under this module is going to start with slash health. I've got the pagination size set to 25. That's the default. I can turn that to anything I want. Zero means unlimited, which gets me the incomplete data set and one um, request, or I could set it to 250 or 5 or 1 or, or whatever number I want there. The larger you make the number, or if you go unlimited, uh, the more memory you're going to consume on the server, the longer it's going to take, and the more data you're going to be transferring over the wire. So just be careful what you ask for. And then here is the pattern of the service. So under this thing called uh, health, I've, the pattern is going to be check slash colon type. And then under that, I have one or more handlers. So I've got a get handler defined. Let me format this. So it's basically a select star from this table where activity type equals type. So the cool thing is when I make the request to check slash something, that slash something 
Words automatically feeds to this bind variable in the SQL behind the request. And then I'm also doing an order by distance. So I've hard coded the, the sort here. So this is health check type. So here I've got my URI from my service slash words slash rest enabled schema slash health slash check slash type. So I'm asking for all of the rowing. I could say indoor rowing. Just one item there, or a few items there. Now, if I take this off, four or four not found because it doesn't recognize that pattern. It's expecting something after the slash. Let's take this request and open an incognito window and make that same request unauthorized. So I haven't passed credentials. So words is asking me for it. This is my database username. Database user password. And here's the JSON body. Um, that'll give me an access cookie for like 30 minutes. After that times out, it's going to ask me for the credentials again. If I'm here in my REST client, and I don't send over the basic auth, I get 401 unauthorized. So if you want to look about how these are protected, when you create a module, or if you create a REST enabled table, you get an automatic uh, privilege for that. So if we look at, um, let's look at the privilege on the table. Uh, DB Tools Auto REST Privilege Jeff Strava. And this privilege um, is tied to the SQL developer role. So the SQL developer role gives me access to um, the Strava um, privilege and the endpoint um, that's tied to that, which is the REST enabled table for Strava. If you're not sure what the privilege is for REST enabled table, it tells you right here required role name, Oracle DB Tools role auto REST Jeff Strava. Here that is. If we edit that again, we can see uh, that's tied the SQL developer role. So the, the magic there is the, the database user authentication. Jeff and my database password, that session when it um, authenticates, it automatically authorizes into the SQL developer role. So all the requests made as Jeff automatically get this role attached. So that's why that endpoint works. Let's do one last thing. Let's pull up a list of all the endpoints. So, uh, words and REST enabled user followed by metadata catalog. This is a description of everything in my service. And if I pull up this one right here, this is the open API catalog version. This is uh, the Swagger doc. And if I pull up the Swagger client,
here I can see how to, for example, add a new record. It's got the model description of the values I'm expected to insert a record to this collection, which in this case is that table. So let's tie things up and finish things off. Um, ORDS and Autonomous, uh, it's a managed service. ORDS is um, there for you when you create your database. We handle security for you, we handle performance for you, we manage the connection pools for you. It's up and ready to go as soon as the database is running. Uh, we give you the admin user to get started with, but really you should be using the admin user to create other accounts and then using those accounts to publish your REST services. The ORDS running in the cloud is the same ORDS. running in my desktop. It's the same tech, so you can publish REST services, develop REST services on-prem, and then when you're ready to push them up into the cloud, the exact same code, exact same um, ORDS API calls, um, so it's very easy to go back and forth. We've got lots of examples, um, docs, videos, and to find all of those I recommend you head to oracle.com slash rest and this is the product page for words thanks everyone for your time today and if you can find me online i'm always happy to take any and all of your questions